Hello everyone, welcome back to the nursery. Uh, guys, I'm, my voice is coming back. I'm so glad. Guys, uh, this is my silicone doll that I got in the other day and I showed you guys yesterday. And I just wanted you to see some of the, um, what you have to have to paint a silicone doll. And I think this is a lot of the reason, guys, they are so expensive because uh, it takes so much, it's, they're so much different from painting the Reborns. Uh, this will make my third one I've painted. And I'm no expert, believe me. Um, somebody had asked me, Sharon T. had asked me on here, uh, on the other video, was I going to show the painting process? Probably not, guys, because it, it, it really is, is so much different than painting a reborn and um, a reborn doll. And you've only got like a certain amount of time on the silicone. You have like a pot life of about, I don't remember what it says, maybe 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 15, something like that. And you have to get what you're doing done. Or it, But now if you add thinner to it, it will last a little longer. Now I can remember when I first done my first silicone, I was scared to death that it was going to dry before I could get it off. You know, like I stopped, got something on there and oh my gosh, it's too dark. I don't like it. You know, I was just scared to death. If you add thinner to it, it will last longer. You, you've got time to take it off. And all you got to do is take a a sponge and just take it off and it'll come right off no problem but now if you let it sit for 20 minutes you're not going to get it off but if you do it fairly reasonably right after that you know you can take it off i know i was scared to death it was going to just set up right then you know i wasn't going to have time to get it out there and i'm like oh my god i made a mistake and uh you'll make mistakes i have and i do on the i make mistakes on the um reborns and I have to take them, take it off. And uh, sometimes I'll get them. I have went so far as to get my Reborns completely finished. And they will look too red to me. And I will completely strip them down and start over. But now on a silicone, you can't do that. Um, some people says you can use um, sanding paper. Fine sanding paper and sand that off. Guys, I don't recommend that at all. This silicone is so delicate and especially in the soft blend you'll tear that baby all to pieces if you try that so the best thing to do is just right when you put that on there if you think it don't look good take it off right then and if you'll do that you'll be safe because you can always go back over it you know like if it's a vein so um i have got some just paper here this is what i use for like laying my baby on while I'm painting because it's lint free. It's like kind of like a paper bag type material. It's like a shipping, what you do shipping with. I don't know what this is called. But anyway, I got this, I think I got this at Walmart. And it's just like a brown paper bag on a roll. You know, the type of stuff is a, is a brown paper bag. Um, and um, I use this, I just cut me off pieces, which is trying to roll up on me to fix that because I don't need that really nothing touching my paint so far. But um, I just take pieces of it and cut it off in pieces. And I, I'll do my layer, whatever I'm doing. And then when I get through, I can just wad it up, throw it in the garbage. It comes on a big roll. And it's lint free. It's better than like, now I've got her on a towel right now. This is where I had bathed her and was washing her. But you can see, see how sticky that is? So before I start painting her, I will uh, clean her again. I, I washed her in Dawn soap first thing. Then I used um, acetone, went over her, and completely cleaned her with acetone and a paper towel and just cleaned her whole body back and front. Then I took her back and I bathed her again with Dawn soap. And now, before I start painting, I will probably go over her with some uh, rubbing alcohol. And what this does, guys, is just uh, that gets all the dirt, debris, uh, the silicone where they took it out of the mold, the release agent, it gets all that off the baby. And it makes the pores open up to accept the paint, the silicone paint. Now, this is what I'm told. Um, that's just what I was told, and, and that's how I do it. So, I'm not, like I say, I'm not claiming to be a professional. I'm not. I mean, you know, I mean, I'm just, I'm learning too. So, anyway, I got her. I've got her on my paper bag type paper. I ordered some supplies in, and I was going to show you those today. I ordered some sponges, in which I picked these out for my um, 
my mottling and stuff. But I ordered some sponges. These are called Wonder Wedges. Now, I'm not sure if these is going to work or not. We're going to try. Has to be latex free. Uh, your paint will not um, cure if you use anything, with, if it's got to do with latex. So we're going to try these. And they say latex free, but I'm telling you, on my other doll, I couldn't, they was two or three times there I painted her and I couldn't get the silicone to cure. I done everything I knew to do. That was the first I ever got and I was just learning everything I knew to do. And uh, still, the paint wasn't curing. And I figured out after the fact that I went through all that, it was the sponges I was using. And they said they were latex free. And I got them at Walmart. It said latex free. They would not, something in those sponges would not let that cure. So I went through, that was the first one I ever done. And I mean, I really. So if you get some of this stuff, guys, and you try and it don't cure, try switching out your sponges. Go to another store uh, and get a different sponge. But always make sure it says latex free. So I finally went back to the dollar store and I got some of the small sponges. It's the dollar store you can get, you know, they're like a dollar a pack. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I've still got a cough. And my throat, my, my voice is coming back a little, but it's still scratchy. But um, I went to the dollar store and I got those cheap ones. Cause they're small, though. You know, and it's a lot more work if you got smaller ones. And tried those. They work perfectly. So, if nothing else, just rent the dollar store and get you some of those uh, cheap ones. That they're a dollar for, I don't know how many, 16 in a pack. Something like that. But these, I want to try these Wonder Wedges. I got these off the internet. They were pretty cheap, and they're the bigger ones. I'm going to try. It says latex free. We'll try. If that don't work, then I'll know the sponges can't be used. But it's just, it's real bad to react, interact with the uh, the cure time on this. And it, it's something it does something to it, and it won't let it cure. Anyway, okay, I'm going to go on past that, guys. We're getting up there long. I'm talking too much. I got all these sponges in a bag. They're called Wonder Wedges. This is the paint I use. Uh, it's Smooth On Silk Pig. It's S-I-L-C Pig. And you get a, a blood color, a flesh color, a brown color, black, green, blue, yellow, red, and white is what you get in there. Now, the Sam that does the, the, the um, Sam silicone powder, they also have different colors. I haven't used any of those. I'd like to try some sometime. But, uh, yeah, this is what I've got on hand right now. Silk Pig. This stuff is not cheap, guys. I'm telling you, it's expensive. This is the thing I got in. It's it's called uh, Psycho Paint. It's the 8-ounce kit. It's an A and a B. And you have that's what you are going to be painting with. You put equal amounts, uh, parts of each one. A, equal amount of A and B together. Mix it up. Put you some thinner in there, then you add your color, and then you that's what you paint with. This is what you're painting with because it's silicone. Silicone six to silicone, right? Okay, that's that. I got that. Here is my finishing powder I use. Tried lots of finishing powders, don't like any of them, the feel of them. This one is unbelievable. Wonderful. It's silicone finishing powder. Uh, it's put out by the Sam's S A M S. This is only 8 grams, Sam, S-A-M, S-P-F, and that's what it is. It's now in a smoother, softer formula, but I'm telling you, the one I got before is great. Uh, but now, this is not cheap. This will do one doll. It's 8 grams. That'll do one doll, and you got to be careful when you're using it to make it last for the whole doll. This is, the time they ship it to you, I get it from Brick in the Yard. It's like... Right at $50 for 8 grams for that powder. But it's the best. I'm telling you guys, it's honestly the best I've used. Now, as I said, I'm no professional. Other people may know more about it than I do. But I'm telling you, it's my opinion. I love it. I got some brushes, guys. I got these off the internet. I ordered these. Guys, get cheap brushes. Do not get fancy, costly brushes to do this silicone in. You will have to throw them away. They will last you if you clean them in between. Uh, you know, don't don't use them and lay them down. You got to clean them. They'll last you for this baby. But I'm telling you, time you get this baby done, they're garbage. 
You can't use them. Buy cheap brushes. I got these off eBay. Really cheap. Two packages of them. They're just a, a cheap, cheap paintbrushes. And I got this set, which I don't think I'm going to use any of these on my silicone. I may, and I may not. Because these are nicer brushes. But, I mean, I've got them real cheap on there, guys. But they're the nicest brushes. And I thought I'd share them with you. I don't know that I'll even use them. I got all these brushes off eBay for $10. And I want you to look at the brushes, the different. That I'll probably keep these for my Reborns. I don't know. It's even got a hair, doing hair brush in it. The little hair brushes. You pay for that alone. You pay the $6 probably at Hobby Lobby for that, the hair brush. This is a 3 8 Here's another different kind of a hair brush that you can do hair with. It just leaves uh, real distinct lines, though. Can you see that? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, thank you. Okay, and then it's got a fan brush. It's got a little tiny liner. It's got flats. It's got rounds. A fan brush. These are really nice, guys, and I got them off eBay for 10 bucks. Look on eBay for your brushes. And I got these, and I absolutely have never had them, and I've seen uh, one of the... Um, painters on here using them. These are nail brushes, guys. Where they do the nails. Uh, perfect for liners. I mean, I'm talking super thin. I got me two sets of them because they were so cheap. You get them off eBay. Really, really cheap. So whatever you get, guys, guys on painting the silicones, go with cheap. Now, guys, that's everything I like except for I have the acetone, but I don't have the thinner. I have heard everybody Everybody else that's talking about this, about how to paint, say uh, to use what's called naphtha thinner. Well, I ordered it, and it still hasn't come in. I'm just wondering, does anybody out there know if you can use mineral spirits? That's what I use on my Reborn dolls. And I was just wondering, could you use that to thin the silicone paint? I, of course, don't want to do that because it might not cure, and then I'd be in a mess again, right? So if anybody out there knows, please let me know because it says I ordered that naphtha and it's saying that it's not going to be here till Monday and I don't want to wait till Monday to start painting. But anyway, you'll need that. You also need, I buy these at the Walmart, just big old craft sticks. That's for mixing. You also need toothpicks. What will we do without toothpicks? Toothpicks, guys, right? They're wooden. They won't affect your paint. Um, I use toothpicks on my reborning all the time. So, toothpicks. And you might need some. I've got some pointed cotton swabs here. I might give me some more. I'm thinking I got these at the dollar store. They're the, the real sharp tipped ones. See? And then on the other side, they're kind of flat. And I believe I got these at the dollar store. I'm not real sure on that, guys. That's where I'm thinking I got them. You'll need that. Um, I'm trying to think there. Oh, yeah. I do my mixing. This is what I use. Uh, because you can throw it away. Just a little bath cups. Paper glass bath cups. And I'll mix it up in here. Use it. And then when I'm done with that, I can just throw it in the garbage. So use those. It's easy cleanup, guys. You can use anything you want, really. I mean, you know, like a, any kind of a palette. But this is just, it's easy clean up. You just pitch it in the garbage. And I think that's all other than you will need lots and lots and lots of paper towel. <laughs> okay, so guys, I just wanted you to let, let you see this. Uh, this is almost 14 minutes. So I'm going to jump off here. And uh, as, if anybody knows about that uh, mineral spirits, please let me know. I'm not sure I can use it. If I can, I'll go ahead and start painting her. But if not, then I guess I'll just have to wait till my thinner comes in, right? Okay, guys, that's it. Uh, please subscribe if you're not already and ring the notification bell so you never miss an episode. I'll be coming back and showing you in between layers what I've done. I probably won't do it on camera, but I will show you what I have got done. And, uh, you know, so everybody ring the notification bell so you can keep up with it. And uh, I also have a giveaway going on. Don't forget about that. Check out the video on the giveaway. And, oh, I forgot one more thing, guys. This is going to be a long video. Sorry. Uh, but anyway, check that out on that. And then I have Reborn Dolls for sale. If anybody's interested in that, 
any of my dolls, let me know. I'll leave some links. You can message me. Uh, and uh, we'll get together on um, how you want to pay for it if you want want the doll and uh, for the price. And I do have a layaway, guys. Oh, one more thing I want to show you. I forgot this. I was doing my supplies. I've got, look at this little outfit I got. I got this off eBay, too. I got this whole outfit, guys, for $4. Look, it says Love Bears. It looks brand new. It's pink, like a little jumper. It's got a little shirt under it. A little, just a little white shirt that goes under it. The outside of it's pink. Uh, beautiful pink with white trim on that. On the legs. Um, it also come with a, a little hat to match. Some little booties to go on the feet. And some little mints to go on the hands. So I got this complete outfit for four dollars, and it says "Love Bears," and it's got a heart with two little bears embroidered on it. I thought it was so sweet, guys. But I got that for four dollars. It also buttons up. I've got to tell you through the legs instead of snap it buttons. It is put out. I do not even know by baby. I don't know what that says, guys. Baby something. B-R-A-Y. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, I like it. Pretty. Can't beat it for $4. Hat, mitts, and things to go on the feet all for 4 bucks. So anyway, guys, thought I'd share that with you. Okay, guys. That's it. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I'll see you soon in a new video. Bye-bye, guys.